Hi, welcome back to me and Monami. And as you can see, we're safely back on the French Riviera after our splurge trip in Paris in which we uh, ate our way through the city and spent a fortune. So this week it's back to normal life. And that's what this week's video is all about. It's about how we live on the French Riviera on a budget. So, what we thought we'd do is try and take you through a typical day uh, that we spend here on the Riviera when we're not away filming adventure videos. Um, and, uh, well, without going into too much detail, uh, basically we're, we're up with the lark, aren't we, or the cock. At, a, at about eight o'clock, uh, I'm usually at my desk editing <laughs> and doing admin to do with the channel, and uh, that usually takes me to about 1.30, sometimes longer because I completely lose track of time. Uh, and it's at that point I start to get very guilty and decide we should uh, come into knees, do some exercise, do some shopping, and do some actual life. Now, what have you been doing, Mr. Boo, this morning? Well, uh... Twiggy was also up with the lark, so I've walked her. Yes. Uh, and I've been to a couple of my Airbnbs, unblocked the toilet. That Mr. was fun. Mr. Airbnb empire. If, uh, if you're ever coming to this area, particularly Villefranche, you want somewhere to stay, check out, we'll put a link in the description, check out Mr. Mr. Boo's Airbnbs. He doesn't own them, but he manages them. And yes, what else? Uh, so as well as the glamorous toilet unblocking and um, some putting in some new light bulbs, I had a quote for some uh, paintwork. Paintwork? And uh, took delivery of some very glamorous new dining chairs. Very glamorous dining chairs? Yes. Wow. Well, that's quite a morning. So, anyway, that is more or less typically what happens. He goes out, lets me get on with it. He does his work, I do mine. And we try and find some time in the afternoon. It doesn't always work uh, to come into Nice, do some exercise, do some shopping. Uh, and that's what we're about to do now. Uh, and we're going to go into Nice and hopefully find our um, favourite free electric parking spot. That was a bit of a rock fall, Mr. Boo. It was rather. Um, <laughs> so, oh, oh. <laughs> this is where we usually park, but somebody's put some dollies in the road. Do you remember we used to call them dollies, Mr. Boo? Okay. My grandma used to say there's some dollies. Are we really going to just leave this here? This is not legal. Is it? It depends. Well, it's just moving this thing. How long is it going to be? It's ridiculous. We need to get up to the electric parking. I'm not having it. Not well, I'll get out and move it, but okay, we can't run over. It. Not, but we can't get past. It's ridiculous. Don't rush, will you? We are parking electric, no! I need the parking electric. Okay. Merci. Get moving. Well, stuck behind Liberace's van. You get back in? Anyway, after that little altercation, we haven't got our electric parking spot, so we'll go over the other side, because we have a route, don't we? We do. To try and find these electric parking spots. Um, one thing we should add is that in order to obtain this free parking hour that we often get, uh, you have to have the Prise de Nice card, and the Prise de Nice card comes with a charge, which is four euros a month. Is that right? Four euros and ten cents. Oh, ten cents. <laughs> so that's about a euro a week, so we'll add that to our weekly cost. But uh, let's see if we can get a space. Chihuahua crossing. Oh, Chihuahua crossing. 
Here we go. And here we are, our free hour of electric parking. Right, car safely on charge. We're now going to do what we try and do two or three times a week, which is in winter, go to the swimming baths. Now in summer, of course, we swim in the sea and it's free, it's free. But uh, in winter, we have to go to the baths and the baths in Nice are, um, they're a little bit antiquated. So these are the very unglamorous changing rooms. It always reminds me of uh, Jewsby Sports Centre in 1976, except Jewsby Sports Centre is now shut down because they've run out of money. This is the bad bit about French baths is you have to wear, you have to wear your plastic bonnet and you have to wear budgie smugglers, you can't wear long shorts. Au revoir, merci. Right, swim completed, it's time for lunch. Now, some days we just come up here and go to the boulangerie, get some bread, go home and make a sarnie. But when it's sunny and if we've done a lot of swimming, we feel like treating ourselves. So we go around the corner here to this fantastic place that has actually just opened, but it is a really old business in Nice, isn't it? Uh, this um, guy and his wife, I think it is, they ran a very famous bouvette. Now, bouvette's a sort of food truck at the cabin, sort of at the side of the road, uh, that did the Niçois speciality, pan bagnat. And I think they, um, for some reason, the road was widened or the tram came or something and they lost their bouvet. But there was such a hue and cry about it that uh, I think the, the, the mayor may have even got involved. And they have got a new shop just down here. And um, they do a really mean pan bagnat. And uh, well, it is only six euros. So here we go, Shea Felix, the famous pan bagnat shop. Uh. See, right next door to Shea Felix, there is the Copenhagen Coffee Lab. Now, it's not somewhere we go very often because the coffee's quite expensive we and uh, we make a lot of coffee at home. Now, the best thing about going to Shea Felix or indeed to any of the other, because there's an there's the old Rennie soccer down there, there's a very good boulangerie on the corner just up from Shea Felix, also does great sandwiches, is you can come over here into the park and if you can find a nice little park bench, you can, uh, you can have your lunch in the sun for free. In fact, some of my happiest times have been spent on this park bench, you know, Mr. Boo. Really, just sat there in the sunshine, having done my kilometre swim, because we've done 40 lengths, one kilometre. Mr. Boo did it in 25 minutes, I did it in 35, but I only do titty stroke, breast stroke. Is there a spare bench? It's busy today, Mr. Boo. Our bench is taken over there. Mind you, there was a man in the bushes behind us the other day, wasn't there? It was a bit disconcerting. We were sat having our sandwich and there was rustling, rustling in the bushes. We didn't know what was going on. We were worried, weren't we? Boo, let's grab this bench. It's backless, but it'll have to do. And don't come near pigeons, they're ours. I have a seat, Mr. Boo. And I have a sandwich. So show everyone what you get for your six euros, because I honestly don't think you could uh, make it much cheaper yourself at home, do you? Not with all the ingredients. No. Um, so this is, I've talked about this, my favorite Niswa sandwich before. Essentially, it's a salad niçoise in a bun. It's that special pulley bread carved out with olive oil. You've got tuna, egg, you've got radicchio, well, radish, should I say. Uh, you've got tomatoes. It's really well dressed. It's got anchovies. You don't have to have anchovies. I love anchovies. Um, give it a bite, Mr. Boo. Mmm. These were originally made for the sailors, fishermen, so they could go out to sea on a morning 
and get so much, I was going to say hot inside them, but basically take a salad and eastwards with them and not have to get a plate and a napkin and a knife and fork. They just put it in a bun. I don't know how I lost a tooth on a bread roll in France. It must have been really bad luck. Right, lunch completed. We're now going to take you to uh, Asiana, which is our favourite Asian shop where we, um, we save a lot of money because we buy things in big packets. Kind of work going on here alongside what was the old National Theatre. And then just up here, in the midst of it all, is what we think is the best Asian shop in Nice by quite a long way. It's always very busy and it has everything. It's the best bit because if you buy a soy in these bigger bottles, it's so much cheaper, isn't it? If you get a big litre of kicking in soy sauce or fish sauce as opposed to the small bottles, much, much cheaper. We tend to get the uh, rice here because it's uh, a bit cheaper if you buy it in a big bag, isn't it, Mr. Boo? But we don't need any jasmine. I think we might need another basmati, maybe. And they've got all the chilies on here. Ooh, keep your regular shiitake. Right, now let's head for a new addition to the food uh, shopping scene here, which is a Italian supermarket which stocks all the stuff that often we go over the border to Vontemille to buy. Not quite as cheap, but it, um, it's a bit more convenient, isn't it, Mr. Boo? Let's check it out. Testicles of mutton for lunch. Lovely. Get pincer bases in here. Remember when we went and worked in that pincer restaurant, Mr. Boo? Mark's pincer restaurant in Cannes. But yeah, all your Italian hams in the fridge, fantastic. This fridge, just a massive array of pastas. And I love these tin tomatoes, it's famous. Don't you? I always want to buy these so that then when the tin's empty, I can put some plants in them. Because I just love them. These ones are mutty, they're very famous. And what are these? Artichokes. Artichokes. Wowza. And then a big olive selection. And then an awful lot of pasta and parmigiano over here. Very nice, fresh gnocchi. And these are a very good idea because these are little bio tomatoes. They're usually 149, but I think the tins have got a bit misshapen, so they're on special here for 80. Mm. Not bad. Absolutely love these. Uh, Licorice, mint, sweets, I'm addicted to them, aren't I, Mr. Boo? Oh, we've got our pincer ingredients, and now it should be time for the butchers to reopen, because the butchers closes from 12.30 to 3 o'clock, doesn't it, for lunch. Uh, but then it carries on open till 7. Very odd opening times here. It's, it's always quite tricky to get your head around them. Uh, you know, not least the fact that everything is closed on a Monday. Well, I say that, supermarkets are open, but things like butchers and uh, uh, those sort of traditional shops uh, are bakers closed. Is closed on a Our bakers is closed on a Monday on Rubana. But anyway, let's go to the butchers, because what you will discover is that, yes, the supermarkets sell a lot of meat, and yes, I'm not saying a lot of people don't buy meat in supermarkets, but there's still an awful lot of people use the old butcher here and there's a couple in the old town one in particular that's very very cheap uh, and one that's just uh, a little bit more expensive but a bit better so this is the other butchers and this i can uh, i think safely say is the cheapest butchers in the whole of nice um, often very very long multiple queues with a famous sort of conveyor belt that transport your purchases down to the cashier there you can see it at the top uh, but if you look at the prices Cote de Boeuf 16.90 Cote d'Agneau 16.90 Fille de Boeuf 29.90 and a poulet roti for 4.90 is very good that's a roast chicken by the way and 
and this is somewhere we come quite often to the Troc, which is their city branch of second hand furniture and bits and bobs. We've had some nice finds in here, haven't we, Mr. Boo? Mm, very nice. Oh, look, there's the old Beatles junket here. <laughs> Amazing. Quite a good bite, that. Look at the upholstery on these, lovely. How much are these, Mr. 79 for the pair? Yeah. Bargain. Your vice regal throne. There's quite a nice gravy boat in silver. Got a chip, we've noticed it's got a chip. Might be a, might be a reject. Send back. Where next, Mr. Boo? Animal City. Animal City. Gotta get something for Twiggy. These are a bit more Twiggy size. If you'd like this one, might. Like, she would tear it a bit, so wouldn't she? It's for cats, really. And she's a bit like a cat. What have you got? Oh, she likes those, doesn't a she? A welcome. A lamb stick. They're like pepperamis for dogs. Mm -hmm. Do you remember pepperamis? I remember when they came out, but I thought they were amazing. You'd get them in a pub with a pint. Pepperami. Mm -hmm. like scampi fries, but they made your wee smell. Well, Thirty-two euros for a coat. That's too big for twigs. <coughs> oh, get that at home, Mr. Boo. Don't need to buy it. That might be a bit bit. That'd last her a while. Pro plan. <laughs> Mr. Boo is going wild in the aisles. This is a favourite. Rice what, and duck. Look what happened to with Dale Winton. Rice. Oh yeah, rice and duck with duck and rice. Why is it say it twice? So good. So good. They named it twice. Try and get one without gunged up wheels. Trouble with this little is, I'll let you see, they all get fur in their wheels and they never clean them. You can't move them. It's impossible. It must be, it must be olive week. There's a lot of olives, a lot of giant olives, look. Yeah. And nut oil. Joyous packs, it's getting ready for Easter. Tuna in jars, assortment of crackers. Some tint snails. Do you want, do you want five dozen tint snails? <laughs> Bourgon Sauvage. Some morels. Sachet. Some uh, jars. girols. Jars of girols. All the sort of treat things. And lots of little uh, uh, quail's eggs for Easter. Do you want a quail's egg instead of an Easter egg? And uh, down here, the least de canard duck pate. And uh, I bet there's a bit of foie gras going in here. Want some more sponges? Trouble with our air fryer, keeping it clean, stopping it smelling. It's, we're using a lot of multi-use sponges, aren't we? We use this on Elton Windeline almost daily to get rid of the uh, tree sap. That falls on it. We're very partial to these little steaks because it's the only way we restrict our meat intake. Is if you get these, you just don't get a lot, but they're very, very tasty and they're good price. They're uh, what do they come in at these? Five ninety nine. Pounds of little organic taties. Not so mad on the normal ones, and we like these little granais in the in the air fryer, don't we? Yeah. How much are they? Two twenty nine. Two twenty nine, but they're very convenient. You don't have to get muck off them. No. To confess that though there are many things we love about France, tea is not their strong point. Certainly, tea bags, French tea bags, are dreadful, um, and we still import. And, and this is shameful. We don't import Yorkshire tea, do we, Mr. Bill? What do we bring in? Bring in Crinings. Twining's breakfast was so posh. Um, so if anybody's coming over to Villefranche, bring us some tea. The centre aisle is very uninspiring this week, isn't it? Look at this. Brasserie de... Oh, there's, some, there's a sports bra.
some vacuum bags. Oh, it's terrible. There's nothing in. They've got no tin. They need a delivery, Mr. Boo. No tin of some fake Crocs. He wanted to buy that last week. I put kibosh on that. Some car seat covers that don't fit our car. A solar powered squirrel. Solar powered squirrel. Secret. Look at it. There's its solar. I don't think that power are a me, do you? What else have we got? Motorbike helmet. Oh, you can grow your own uh, lettuce. I was going to say you can grow your own motorbike helmet. <laughs> it's either grow your own lettuce or I think it might have dual use this, don't you, Mr. Boo? Do you think you could grow other things in this? Oh, like um, that aren't lettuce. Like things that begin with an M and end with an A. Just saying. Somebody's left some bananas. Oh, I hope they've got a diet cola for me. Oh, they have. Yes. My weekly treat. Diet cola, sans sucre. It's Olympic cola, Mr. Boo. Paris Olympics coming up. We're very bad in the uh, in the processed meat zone. We like a, we like a bit of processed ham, don't we? These these very bad for you, uh, jambon fumé up here. Some sort of cheaper jambon cru, jambon de bay on. That's like I had in uh, Paris oh, yeah. on my scrambled eggs. Yeah, it is expensive, isn't it? So we were looking at, on the UK little sign, a 2.25 litre box of red. Seems to be the cheapest at about 15, I think, pounds, something like that. But here you can get three litres for how much? 7.49. 7.49, so how much is that a litre? 2 euros 50 a litre. 2 euros 50 a litre, so that's a bottle and a third for uh, 2 euros 50, which is about two pounds. Cheaper than Perrier water. It's cheaper than Perrier. In Paris. <laughs> Considerably cheaper. Give it a whirl, Mr. Boo. Happening, Mr. Boo. Have been in an altercation with a woman in a lilac puffer jacket. And, and the security man. He's chased after her and asked her to open her bag. Oh dear. We best not put the camera over there. We don't wish to uh, incriminate ourselves. But you tell us what's happening. I thought she's beeping as she's going out. What's she got? I think she's got a Ferrero Rocher egg. Maybe, she, maybe she's going to, going to try and spoil the ambassador. Try to make a swift egg skate. Right, got to fit it in Elton. As they say, in prison. Let's see. Ooh. Don't leave the wine on the roof, Mr. Boo. That would be, <laughs> that would be a bit tragic. It's happened before. Oh, my cola's nice. So, we've come to the beach and I've had to get my microphone out because well, I look like all the trendy YouTubers now, all their mics up like this, but I've no, nothing to fasten it on. Um, but, you know, this is one of the great joys of living here, is that you can come to the beach virtually any day of the year if it's sunny. Uh, you might have to bring a jumper in case it turns parky later or the wind gets up. But you can come here to the beach, you can lay with the dog, you can lay on the sand, or you can go for a, a bracing dip like I'm about to do. Uh, and it's all completely free. I often say to people that the best things to do on the French Riviera are free, and they look at me like, what? That's crazy, it's a really expensive place to live. But you know, we don't want to go to beach bars. A, we can't afford to go to fancy beach bars in Saint-Tropez, to be honest, I wouldn't want to. Uh, when you live it all the time, the great privilege is just being able to come to the beach and swim when you want to. Similarly, the great privilege is to go up into the hills and walk when you want to, or walk around the coastal path, the littoral. You know, walk around saint jean cap Ferrat, one of the most beautiful peninsulas in the world. It's all completely free. So, um, well, as somebody once sang, the best things in life are free.
It's bracing in Blackpool.